Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about where the market went this past week, where we think the market's going this coming week. And if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures, so if you trade that, you'll definitely want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, and lots of pain, but over time, it became more consistent, and I believe that you will as well if you're not already. So without further ado, let's dive into the charts. We're taking a look at NASDAQ on the daily chart here, and you'll see that I almost got stopped at my long. Pretty surprised I didn't. Um, basically, NASDAQ's been holding up stronger than ES, and that's also the reason why I got in the long, but my average long is a uh, 14,873, and then my TP is below the lows. Overnight, we wicked the lows. ES overnight swept the lows. Uh, went down another about 20 points, 15 points below the lows. Uh, as you can see, just from left to right, ES is extremely weak. And you can see a NASDAQ, it's holding up a little better. Um, but yeah, I'm in the long. TP was a fair value gap on the four hour chart to the left of FOMC meeting. And now it's it's looking decent, but we're not we're not out of the woods yet whatsoever. Last video, I, we were around here and I said that um, we wouldn't want the four hour to go below uh, this 14,600 area. We did that, right? So NASDAQ went bearish. Um, it's still bearish right now because we just traded up into resistance to the left. Realistically, this would be a good short entry. I'm in the long, so I'm just holding my long, but realistically, this is a good short entry and you'd want to just target the lows because we're now bearish and your stock could just be above these highs. Uh, but again, I'm on the bullish side, so I'm not taking that and I'm holding my long, uh, for the, for the short term. So that's just NASDAQ there on the four hour. Let's just zoom out to the weekly. Uh, nothing really changed here so far on the weekly uh, we've held this low and there's two days left so Thursday and Friday if we get above the previous week's high then you know we have a higher high and a higher low on the weekly so you know if we get above 15,070 by Friday then it looks a little better on the weekly but nothing to be too confident about there and then let's just go down to the one hour chart so on the one hour same idea we're still just still resistance to the left. So we're bearish right now. Uh, I am in a long. And like I said before, my target is about here uh, 15,240, uh, halfway into the fair value gap on the four hour chart. And then just I drew a fib retracement from the sell off 15,700 down to the lows. And basically 50% is at 15,150, 618 is at 15,289. So I think we'll get up to about 15,300. And then question from there is we either roll over and put it in a higher low or we roll over and take out these lows and get down to my, my end target about 14,400 on the NASDAQ at some point in October. Let's go to ES. Now ES, extremely weak, right? So we have resistance here at 44.15. We've just been going down, 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 down. And now the uh, question will be, can we get above 43.80? which is about 100 points away. Uh, if we can, if we can close above 43.80 on a daily basis, then there's some hope that we could come back up and trade back into 44.80. But for now, super bearish. We're even below the 200 day moving average. Uh, but like I said in my last video as well, I said that typically once we do get this cross of the MAs and they're both heading up, the next correction takes us just below the 200 day moving average. And then we close back above and we continue higher. And the next target is the highs to the left. So I'm still in the camp actually that we've bottomed or we're very close to bottoming and we're not gonna go much farther from here. If, if you look, uh, this was actually my target on ES, so I personally didn't think we'd get below 42.50 before all this. I thought 42.50 was the target because on the daily chart, look to the left, 42.60, 42.70, 42.80, 42.50, .50, right where my mouse is, tons of support. So I was like, okay, that's just gonna be the low of all lows. We came even lower to 42.35. So that makes me think that the low is in and we're just gonna go up from here. Go to the weekly chart, same idea. Like, I really don't believe on ES we're gonna go to 4,100. I really don't think we're getting down here. I think this is all the, the support we need to push back up and continue higher. That's just where I'm at with ES. If you just look at the daily, shorts look great right now. Of course, we could definitely get in a short at 4,300, put the stop at 4,380, and then target new lows again. That's a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. But considering how oversold we are, I would not like to get in that. If I wanted to get in, in a short, I would get in at around uh, 
somewhere up here at least, uh, or just let it play out because there's no high reward to risk ratio if you go into short now. And let's just take a look at the VIX. So on the VIX, uh, big spike up and then close back down. Uh, but we are trading above the 200 day moving average. So I thought that we would be trading below. Last video, I said that we could chop around the 200 day moving average in the VIX while already put in the low. Uh, but that didn't happen because overnight we put in a lower low. Um, so when the VIX is above the 200 day moving average, obviously extremely bullish. If we get a close back below the 200 day moving average at around 17.3, then we could be confident that, okay, maybe a low is in, but for now, we could just use 200 day as support and then keep bouncing around and keep selling off in the indices. So again, uh, still looks bearish. Now let's go to DXY, a uh, DXY, right? Still super bullish, right? Uh, may finally get a pullback uh, and get that r rally that I'm looking for to get uh, for my NASDAQ long to hit TP, but we'll see how it plays out there. Nothing to say really of the dollar other than my ultimate target on the dollar is 109. So I think we'll get there. And if I think we're gonna to go to 109 on the dollar, that means that NASDAQ should be bearish and that means that NASDAQ should go to that 14,400 area. Uh, I just think that we'll get that bounce, hit TP, uh, and then possibly take a short down to 14,400 before continuing higher into the rest of the year. Let me know how your trading week has gone so far, but uh, I would be looking for longs on NASDAQ after a little more confirmation. Uh, ES is just not good to long right now. Uh, it's, we need more confirmation, need more trading time uh, personally. To look for longs on ES, we need a close above 43.38 on the four hour, right? Right now we're just trading a resistance. NQ, if you're not on a long, to be in a long, we need a close on the four hour above 15,030. And then on a pullback, we can get in a long, uh, basically assuming that we're gonna put in a higher low and stops but are gonna be below this low we made. For now, there's really no trade. This is sideways. We need another break and close. So maybe tomorrow we get a bullish candle, we close above 15,000 on the NASDAQ. Then it's like, okay, we're bullish on the NASDAQ. Yes, maybe tomorrow we get a bullish candle, we close above 43.40 on the four hour chart. All right, then we're potentially bullish on yes. For now, it's just a waiting game. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Subscribe for more videos just like this. I post two videos a week, one every Wednesday and one every Sunday. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.